Nihon, young hello in the dark way, and welcome back to Dangan Road But Two Goodbye Despair. We're gonna see who did it in this one. Uh and I'm terrified. Hello! I hope your day is well. Thanks. I'm trying to force myself to be more energetic, or else my mental state won't be able to keep up. This is something that I should do in real life. <sighs> I might as well have a laid-back so what attitude and go ahead with high energy. Yeehaw! Ah, but be careful that your batteries don't run out for various reasons. I didn't expect there to be like a a mental health PSA from Monomi. And just like I say each time, don't forget to save frequently. I save maybe a little too frequently. Okay, here we go. I I never Expected the funhouse itself to be the ultimate weapon. Oh well, let's just press on ahead. Oh. I, is it really all right to accept a situation so easily? I mean, that's not what's important. The thing that's really important is who did it? The killer who used the building structure. Like who's Mekumaru's murderer? But is it really okay to believe the building is the weapon? Nagito said it, you know. There's no way I'd lie at such an important moment. I don't want to die either. But you kind of do. What happened to the bastard who kept saying how much they didn't mind dying? Right? He's right. There was a time when I thought I could become a stepping stone for your hopes, but... But now I realize you're all morons. I will sincerely retract that remark. God, he's such an arrogant douche now. Retract? Yes. To rescind or pull back or... I'm disappointed too, you know. If this was a murder for the sake of hope, I'd happily sacrifice myself. Interesting. <laughs> you say such falsehoods, per usual. There is no such thing as murder for the sake of hope. Murder is simply murder. Forcibly sacrificing others for one's own desires. Even one as diabolical as I would avoid such actions. I see. It's fine. Let's just leave him alone and find out who killed Coach Nekomaru as fast as we can! That was... weird. Don't tell me it's Gundam. Just so you know, it's not like I'm getting hungry. Fuck off, Akane. Akane. You were drooling waterfalls? Nagito. As usual, I can't tell what he's thinking. I have no idea if he's serious or not. Anyway, if the killer used the building structure, why don't we think about how they used it? How they killed Nekomaru. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not clear. It might be better if we clarify the cause of death first, don't you think? Oh, Nekomaru's cause of death, huh? He was horribly damaged, as if he was beaten senseless with a blunt object. But if he was beaten with a blunt object, it wouldn't be a kill that utilized the building's structure. Did they somehow use, like, the elevator to, like, hit him repeatedly? Or... You know, like, if you... If he was tied... To the pillar, like, suspended from the pillar, and then the elevator just kept going up and hitting him... <laughs> Probably not. So it was Nekomaru's cause of death that also utilized... Pushed by the elevator, is what I thought. Nope. He was crushed by the elevator? That sounds quite painful. So where and how was he crushed? I don't know. Okay, it's not that. Crap! Okay, well, I'm sorry. I was too hasty. Um he... It's not dead battery. I was falling. I see. Okay. I mean, it can't be dead any of the other ones, so. That's it. I think he might have died from falling. Died from falling? How oh, though? If the fun house's secret is that it's a structure where both towers and houses are vertically connected, then the killer made use of its height and caused Nekomaru to die from falling. 
So what do you like? Bending them from like the top somehow, move the elevator down, and then he fell. Hmm. Are you saying they pushed him off? Where'd they push him off from? That I don't know yet. <laughs> Don't just make things up when you don't know the method. Where in that building would you even be able to push someone off in the first place? Not push. It might be possible in the tower. She said one smart thing. You could push him off the fourth floor when the elevator is on the first floor. Did you forget how the elevator functions? When it's on the first floor, the door on the fourth floor won't open. <laughs> Saying he died from falling is truly incorrect. You should burn in the flames of hell. Hey, got no more friends. Mm. But my gut is going crazy right now. If Nekomaru died from falling, where did the killer shove Nekomaru from? If I'm going to read the truth behind this incident, I need to solve that mystery next. Make your argument, okay. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. I don't know. When the elevator is on the first floor, you can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Hmm. It'd be impossible to shove off the victim from up there. Then, how about this? After locking Mekamaru inside the elevator, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor and made use of the drop. Hold on! Did you forget the elevator has a sensor? Uh huh. As long as there's a moving object inside, the other door won't open. But not if there's a good night if he's sleeping. Which means the elevator wouldn't have moved either. That must be the threshold of that elevator. Uh, right? When the elevator is on the first floor, you can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Huh. No. It'd be impossible to shove off the victim from up there. Then, how about this? After locking Mekamaru inside the elevator, yeah. they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor sure. and made use of the drop. I feel like that drop would not be enough to kill someone, Hold though. on! Did you forget the elevator has a sensor? As long as there's a moving object inside... No, that's wrong! Okay. I, I got- I'm glad I got the argument, that but... sensor should only work if something is moving. If Nekomaru wasn't moving inside, the elevator sensor wouldn't have detected anything. Could it be... his sleep mode? When Nekomaru's goodnight button is pressed, all of his functions shut down. And he enters sleep mode. If he's in sleep mode, the elevator sensor wouldn't have noticed him, right? Yeah. I see. So that's how he's not like breathing or anything. However, even if they moved the elevator in that manner, Nekomaru would have just moved along with it. Right. So that's why I think he was strung up to one of the pillars. And then it was like detonated or cut somehow, and then it fell and he fell. No, that's not right. I don't know. There would have been no drop for him to fall and die from. Yes? Yes. That's what I was about to explain before Kazuichi interrupted me. Yeah, Kazuichi. Silence, pest. She called him a pest. Now you're calling me a pest? Oh no, he's so on the her shit list. The way to create the drop inside the elevator while Nekomaru is still in it. Shiaki seems to have an idea, but what way could that be? Make your argument. The wire. The wire. If you arrange it a certain way, you can cause the drop within the elevator. So you're telling us all to think about the arrangement, right? The arrangement? That arrangement is... 
The hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? What about the oil on the floor? The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. No. How about we all shut up and listen to what Chiaki has to say? It's the silence pest pillar, right? Don't be so cold. What if I start to enjoy it? Oh no, Kazuichi, stop! Please stop it. Uh, if Nekomaru is inside the elevator, how can you create a difference in elevation? It's the wire. But he would have to be strung up somehow. What would he be tied to, though? If you arrange it a certain way, you can cause the drop within is it the elevator. Pillar? So you're telling us all to think about the arrangement, right? That arrangement Oops. is the hammer is suspicious. No. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? Oh, Ruck, not that. When the hell does that pillar come out? Maybe you threw the no. Crap! I thought that maybe they could have been tied to the top like tied to the top of the There's no way. If you arrange it a certain way. You can cause the drop within the elevator. To the... So you're telling us all... No. To think about the arrangement. That arrangement? The hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time we went over the... What about the oil on the floor? No. The only thing left is... The doorknob on Gundams. the floor seems suspicious. I agree with that. Oh. Is a three-story drop enough to kill someone? On? Yeah. That might have been where it got scraped by the wire. Is that the same wire that was tied around Nekomaru? The tip of that wire was tied into a loop. If the elevator moved while that loop part hung from the doorknob... If, if they did something like that, he would have been suspended in midair! That's right. He was suspended in midair. Okay, I thought he would have been suspended from the pillar, but from the oh, doorknob. That makes sense. The killer tied up Nekomaru with the wire while he was in sleep mode. Tied the tip of the wire into a knot and hung it on the doorknob to the fourth floor. With that, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor of Grape Tower. Oh, Jesus. And suspended Nekamaru in midair. It's so messed up. That's right! He was so well hung! <laughs> Kinda like. You better not finish that sentence! <laughs> the killer took advantage of the That's elevator's funny. unique feature. Only the floor moves. By doing that, they created a drop so Nekomaru could fall to his death. That's pretty clever. Too easy. Oh, hello. God damn it, Kazuichi. You're always wrong. So what if they created a drop? There's no way you can make him fall and die with just that. He hit the pillar. And knocked it over, and that's why there is blood on the pillar top. And it didn't fall on top of him, because it, it's a bonk, and then it fell, and then he fell. Right? Why? If Nekomaru is suspended in midair like that, then how do you get him to fall? It breaks? Because if he's suspended in midair... He won't die if he doesn't actually fall. I mean, the doorknob can only hold so much weight, and Nekamaru was like super heavy. Right? Oh, I hate rebuttal showdown. I don't. I don't know what. I don't. I, I don't know. Even if they suspended Nekamaru, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. It doesn't mean someone had to push him off. It's possible that he fell on his own. What the hell? What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? Yes. If he was sleeping, there's no way he could do that to himself. Oh. <laughs> Now's the t but in that case. You still won't be able to explain the drop. Moving the elevator with Nekomaru inside is just impossible. End of story. Hold on. Thanks, Kwazri. I think I figured out how the killer dropped Nekomaru. Like, if he woke up. Hmm. 
Can you set a timer to wake Nagarmaru up? Because he has that clock in his chest, right? That's like an alarm. Maybe? Because, yeah, if he wakes up and starts struggling, and then, like, the added strain could break off the doorknob and drop him. Right? All right, if I use that evidence, I should... Okay. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Yeah. Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode. Yeah. Oh, I cut through those words. I got it. I got it. That's how he died. What do you think happen if Nekomaru woke up while he was suspended upside down in midair? He would freak out. What are you saying? Like, how would he even wake up? Aren't you the ultimate mechanic? You're supposed to know. He has an alarm inside his body. As long as it was armed, it would have deactivated his sleep mode. Which means the killer set the alarm before they suspended Nekamaru. If you woke up from an alarm and realized you were hanging upside down God, and had no clue it'd why. It'd be so scary. If something like that happened to you, you would start panicking a lot, right? Instinctively, your body would start moving. Nekamaru probably did exactly that. And then, in order to make him fall from the force he was generating, the wire was hung on the tip of the doorknob so it would easily slip off. In actuality, the scrape marks caused by the wire were near the tip of the doorknob, right? Oh, so it would- it- wait, that's not the one that fell off. The one that fell off was the other door, the- the grape- grape house door? I can't remember. But Nekomaru didn't fall because the wire came off, right? He fell because yeah, the entire yeah, okay. doorknob came there off. There we go. Thank you. I was two steps ahead. When Nekomaru awoke, he must have struggled much more than expected, which caused the doorknob to break off. He's also heavy as fuck. Like, you think a doorknob can withstand, like, a ton of weight? Was that unexpected for the killer, too? Well, that's probably it. If they knew it'd leave behind evidence like that, they would have at least tried to do something to cover it up. The killer didn't expect the doorknob to come off. The reason that even happened was because... In that case, I shall use my full power! With, a fierce roar, with an fierce roar, Nekomaru put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands, but... <laughs> Not yet. Here it comes, the incredible strength of one million horsepower! His power is over 9,000! Wait, isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. If that's really what it was. Then that's the clue Nekomaru left for us to find. I see. So that's how Nekomaru fell to his death. Do you finally understand now? Yeah, Kazuichi. Yeah. It appears it's just as Miss Sonia said. And you accuse her of being stupid. I'm just a pest. No, I'm not just a pest. I'm a total fucking pig. <gasps> Is he going to have a moment of self-reflection and self-improvement? Isn't that right, Miss Sonia? If I'm a fucking pig, you can say so. No. No, he's not. No, I was totally wrong. No, I believe you gave your all. So nice. Hey, why aren't you teasing me anymore? What do you want, Soda? This guy. He gets off on this. So thanks to that alarm, Nekomaru ended up falling while he was still hanging upside down. It's so unnecessary. I swear, if somehow Gundam doesn't survive, but Soda does, I'm gonna be so angry. I'm gonna be so mad. That doesn't mean he just crashed straight into the floor. Yes. Of course, you know that too. I right? do. It doesn't mean Nekomaru crashed straight into the floor. The moment Nekomaru fell to the floor, the only thing I could think of what happened is he got collided. Oh no! Nope. Collided with the pillar. I see. When Nekomaru fell to the floor, he ended up colliding with the pillar. Isn't that it? Finally, the pillar. Yes. So that's how the pillar shattered, and why oil was spilled all over the place. Uh huh. See, I told you the pillar was the weapon. My gut was totally right. I mean, kind of not really. Well, the pillar was a bonus. It's not even clear if the killer intended that, or if it was just a coincidence. 
At this point, it is quite difficult to find a clue that will lead to the killer. Do you think Nagito already knows who it is? Then what about the alarm? I'm positive the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. And if we map it out from there... Hold on, baby gangsta! Stop calling me baby gangsta! What'd you just say? Did you say the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m.? Wasn't it like 5.30? You didn't check it yourself? Never oh, alarm his alarm was, was set for 7.30 a.m. The other people's alarm. Nah, that's impossible. Because even though I slept in a little, I still got to the tower at 7 in the morning. N now that you mention it, so did I. There was no way I could be late for Monokuma Tai Chi, so I left for Grape Tower before 7 a.m. And if we found Nekomaru's body there, it would have been before the 7.30 a.m. alarm went off. It appears yet another contradiction has been birthed. How were you able to discover Nekomaru died at 7.30 a.m. when you went to the tower at 7? I don't know, That's man. what I want to know! Another mystery I don't understand. Seriously, it's just one after another. But I can't choke up at a time like this. Just a little more and I'll be able to reach the truth. There should definitely be a clue to be to breaking through this contradiction. English, make an argument. Well, it's something to do with the clocks. Wall clock, clock's alarm timer. Oh, I need to look at the bullets again. Man. Um. Wall clock at 5.30, the alarm rang. Rush to the lounge after being alerted. Okay. So that doesn't come into play yet. Yeah. Wait, what? The alarm is set to 7 30. That can't be tampered with. Okay, so there's no- okay, so the, the the clock in his chest is 100% correct. Which means that probably the clocks in the lounges were tampered with? Before 7am, I am certain. Uh -huh. The alarm inside Nekomaru's chest was set for 7.30am. Yeah. Nekomaru died because of that alarm, right? His time of death and the time the body was discovered. One of those must be an illusion. The killer probably did some tampering. Yeah. They probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's okay, chest. Okay, there it is. There it is. Uh, That's gotta be it! You're dumb. So no. The alarm that caused Nekomaru's death ring at 7.30, but we discovered his body before 7. I need to crash one possibility at a time. Okay. We headed for Grape what was Tower. it? It was contact. It was radio Before clock. Before 7 a.m., I am certain. But the alarm inside was set for 7.30. Nekomaru died because of that alarm, right? This time of death and the time to- One of those must be an illusion. The killer probably did some tampering. They probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's chest. Oh, fuck. That's gotta be it! What do you mean? I didn't realize that there is two. I should pay more attention. I should slow down. I should use my focus gauge. I never we use it. Before 7 a.m. But the alarm inside was set for 7. Nekomaru died. His time of death and one of those must be a killer. Even squeaky, his voice is still deep. They probably messed with the clock inside Neko. There we go. No, that's wrong. I've used a lot of my, my meter. Bye. No, the clock inside his chest was a radio clock, so it would have been impossible to mess with. So you're saying there's no way the killer could have tampered with the clock? He told us himself. Maybe the clock Miss Sonia saw was the one that got tampered with. The clock inside Grape House? No. I checked all the clocks inside the front house. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what I asked you to do. So you really listened to me and checked all the clocks. But how does he know that it wasn't tampered with if they were all set at the same time? And because of that, I can confidently declare that all the clocks had the same time displayed. That doesn't mean they weren't tampered with. If there's no possibility that the time was tampered with, then we must doubt that human's testimony. Human's testimony. Please believe me, we are not lying. Then maybe it's a misunderstanding? It's so cute. <laughs>
Wait, I want to replay that moment. If there's no possibility that the time was tampered with, then we must doubt that human's testimony. Human's testimony. Please believe me, we are not lying. Then maybe it's a misunderstanding? So adorable. I never misunderstand. I'll crush you into dog food. Akane, misunderstand is like the number one thing you do constantly and always. It's like, that is what you do instead of understanding always like oh. this time related contradiction i don't think i should doubt the testimonies i should doubt the clock it's so cute the gundam is so near <laughs> sorry I'm very, you know how much i love gundam it's no mistake that something was done but what was it perhaps we've overlooked something maybe we're misunderstanding something Think if I focus and think, I should be able to find the answer to that mystery. Don't. It's not Hangman's Gambit, is it? Oh, it's Logic Dive. Okay. Oh God. Um, my life like continues to to be dwindled. Oh God. Trying to be wary of any stupid things. Is there the time in the building? I mean, we don't even know the other two yet, so. I just, uh, this is so silly. This is so unnecessary. Wait, what? Oh my god, there's no way I can make those jumps. Not with my mouse sensitivity. This is so uncool. There's no way. Hang on, is there a way to make it fast, eh? I can't pause. Totally made that, but okay. There's no way I can do this. It's so slow. Like, I'm moving my mouse, like, across my entire desk, and it's still not quick enough. This is so dumb. So dumb. Is like and there's no way I can speed it up, I don't think. Oh, I can use the A and the D keys. Oh, I hate this game. I also still can't do it, but okay. <laughs> I don't want to do that again, please. Don't make me do that again. Fuck you. Okay. God, this is so annoying. And two, which clock was tampered with? Both. Is that not obvious? Like, I don't understand how this is a logic dive. I'm sorry, what? Oh, both. I th sorry, I thought it said both the building's clocks. That's what I thought it meant, but obviously. I'm sorry. I don't want to keep going. I'm so over it. Can you tell? Can you tell how over it I am? Which one had the wrong time? 
both, right? Thank goodness. Okay, that took way too long. I'm sorry. The stupid jump it was so irritating. Okay, good to know I don't need to use my mask. You said you checked all the clocks inside the building. Isn't that right, for you, Hiko? Yeah, none of the clocks had the wrong time. But how do you actually know what time it is? But what if all those clocks have been messed with? Duh. What? All the clocks? See, no one's smart enough to pull off this. So even if you checked all the clocks inside the building, there's no way you'd have noticed it. Chucky. But I don't think it's either of them. I see. So the killer messed with the time inside the whole building by changing all the clocks. <sighs> so that's what it was. There's no way I would have noticed that. I mean, you could have thought of it. This is truly fantastic! Now's not the time to be pleased. More importantly, be how pleased. much was the time off? Couple hours, right? She's right, that's the main problem. I need to clarify by how much time the time was off after the killer messed the clocks. Um, would it have been two hours? Because the alarm went off at 5.30, right? That's definitely the next mystery. I'm going to reach the truth in one go. Make your argument. Oh, look, he's still blushing. It's so cute. Um. If the time in the building was all messed up, then we can only rely on Nekomaru's radio clock. Right. The time of... Hang on, I need to check the bullets again. Use the spin 180 degrees at 5 a.m. So this would have been at 7 because he was going there because he had the alarm, so he knew. So he was going there at 7 a.m. in order to go to Monica Tai Chi. It's clearly 7:30 a.m. Correct. The problem is, what time would 7.30 be? In our time. Are there any clues that can be used to narrow that down? If only I heard the sound when he fell. It would have been a great clue. Or his scream. He's not the type to let out a scream! If only Nekomaru's alarm was loud enough, we would have heard it too. There's no point in saying that. If does not exist in this world. What's for that pose? By how much did the killer adjust the time? Uh, so... Am I agreeing with someone or am I contradicting? I'm really bad at this. If the time in the building was all messed up... What was Akane's account again? Oh, okay. Maybe it's the time of death. It's clearly 7:30 a.m. Yeah. The problem is, what time would 7:30 be? In our time. Are there any clues that can be used to narrow? If only I heard the sound when he fell. Right. I agree with that. Okay, good. Whew. This it 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 seems related. I don't really know. That's right. We should have heard the sound he made when he fell. Wasn't it that rumbling noise? Rumbling. I thought it was just an earthquake, so I went back to sleep. Was that the sound from when Nekomaru fell? Well, a huge body fell from the fourth floor to the first, and the pillar fell with it. It's obvious we'd hear the impact sound. We heard that noise, too. It was when we were gathered at the Strawberry House Lounge. What is it, Sonia? Oh, oh well, that sound everyone heard? I did not hear it at all. Huh? You probably didn't hear it because you were sleeping. I could not sleep at all. I was awake the whole night with hunger pings. There's nothing to worry about. What's important is that rumbling noise anyway. If we use that rumbling sound as a reference, we might be able to figure out how much our time was off. Two hours. I heard that sound probably around 5.30 in the morning. Huh? You can tell? I instantly woke up and left my room. And that's when I saw the clock in the lounge. Atsuma 
work, Akane. And that rumbling sound was heard at 5.30 at It's likely the answer, you know, two hours. I see. I got that already. Nekomaru's alarm went off at 7.30. And if we heard the sound of his impact at 5.30, that means our time was off by two hours. Two hours? That much? It's like a really terrible daylight savings. We were starving pretty badly. There's no way we would have noticed. Okay, three days. Plus, the funhouse has no oh. windows. And there weren't any Monokuma announcements either. However, for what reason did the killer alter our perception of time? The reason is obvious. So they can lure out just Nekomaru. Mm hmm Lure out only Nekomaru? If you messed with the clocks and used a specific thing, you definitely get Nekomaru to the tower alone, right? From there, the killer's plan was a splendid success. That's all it means. Yeah. Besides messing with the time, the killer also used a specific thing. They were trying to lure only the clocks alarm, right? Oh, no. Wait, what? Okay. I thought it was like they used that alarm to make the others think that... Okay, I'm sorry. It was Monokuma Tai Chi. I, see. I didn't look at the choices carefully enough. That's it. The killer made use of the Monokuma Tai Chi activity in the morning. Yeah. How did they use it? We were required to go to Great Tower every morning at 7 a.m. for that activity, right? But if they mess with all the clocks inside the building, what would that do to us? I don't think that Nekomaru would have seen Fuyuhiko in the lounge and been like, Hey, what are you doing? It's Temper Monokuma Tai Chi. And then, uh, and then Fuyuhiko would have been like, What are you talking about? No, it's not. And then, you know, but I guess he just went. We wouldn't be able to attend on time, but that wouldn't affect Nekomaru. His radio clock had the exact time. I'm sorry, my bangs were so annoying today. That's right. In doing so, the killer was able to lure him to the tower by himself at the precise time. Yep. Then, when I witnessed Nekomaru early in the morning... You could have saved him. If I recall, you witnessed Nekomaru around 5 a.m. And if that time was also two hours off, it should have been 7 a.m. Yeah, that's pretty much it. At that time, he was heading over to Monokuma Tai Chi, right on schedule. I see. Now that I think about it, I realize what Monokuma Yeah, and he was like, I didn't think everyone words. would ditch. <gasps> too early! He didn't even ask you yet! <laughs> Jeez, how outrageous. I honestly didn't expect everyone to ditch Monokuma Tai Chi. But it turned out like this after all, so I guess it can't be helped. When you said everyone, you were including us, right? We thought we came to the tower on time, but in truth, it was way past the meeting time. Ah, oh, jeez! That's... well, how should I put it? Um, what was it? You know, tripping over a foot, or something like that. Are you talking about tripping over someone else's fault? Wrong! Too bad! Liar! I'm right! That's not it! It's incorrect! Th that's definitely the correct answer. You always hmm. get so stubborn like this. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Let's just ignore the peanut gallery. <laughs> now that we've found out how the killer lured Nekomaru, the number of suspects has drastically decreased. Huh? Hey, why would that decrease the number of suspects? Don't be a friggin' liar! Well, there's no way it's not Fuyuhiko. You'll know I'm not lying when you listen to what Fuyuhiko's going to say next. Oh. Huh? What the hell do you mean? You witnessed Nekomaru going toward the tower. Did something else happen after that? The alarm rang? Are you talking about that alarm? Hmm. Alarm? A little while after I witnessed Nekomaru, 
the clock in the strawberry house lounge started going off. Plus, it was just before that rumbling sound occurred. That's it. So that's what it is. If Nekomaru died when the rumble happened, then whoever doesn't have an alibi at the time is the prime suspect. But... Mm, but, I mean, it depends on how long it took to string up Nekomaru, though, right? Because the person could get there, go to the tower, and then come back, and then Nekomaru would just be left under his own devices. Really? Was there anyone who didn't have an alibi at that time? Everyone in Grape House. I remember now. The sound was so loud I couldn't help bolting from my room. Oh. There was one guy who never left the lounge. We were both on the same floor. It's pretty weird that bastard never came out of his guest room. Uh, but Nagito? Which means that person does not have an alibi for when Nekomaru fell? Who is it? Who's the bastard? It's whoever doesn't have an alibi for that time, right? Uh... You're the only one! Okay. The one who wasn't there. It's you, right, Nagito? But there's no way Nagito's the killer. That's right! Nagito wasn't there! It was just me, Gundam, and Fuyuhiko. You didn't come out, even though the alarm was going off like crazy. You weren't in your room, were you? If that's the case, where were you? That was too easy. Please, say something! If you don't hurry up and answer, I'm gonna suicide dive you! If I may be frank, even if I wanted to go to the lounge, I couldn't. You couldn't? What do you mean? <laughs> It's merely the foolish talk of the week. Not only did I not hear the alarm, I never even heard that rumbling sound. He couldn't? You're definitely fucking lying. Uh, however, that is also true for me. Uh, no, but... Mm. It depend on where you are. It is obvious that I did not hear the alarm in Strawberry House. But I did not hear the rumbling sound either. Is that not strange? I mean, everyone else heard it. Is it because of the room that you were in? The deluxe room? It's soundproof, right? To be honest, it's not just them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same goes for me too. Huh? I was in a pretty deep sleep. So I thought that's why I couldn't hear it. But it wasn't that. I probably couldn't hear it at all. Couldn't hear it? What does that mean? You still don't know. The deluxe rooms are really good insulation. Think about what the three of us who didn't hear a sound have in common. And I'm sure you'll figure it out. The only people who didn't hear the rumbling noise were Nagita, Sonia, and Chiaki. The secret is what these three have in common. Could this also be the secret that points to the killer? Oh, I don't like Hangman's Gambit. Uh... Deluxe D E L U X E R O O M S. Oh no. Yeah. E. I need an L. Oops, I don't know. Oh, why did the U go do that? Oh, I would do that. That's so stupid that... It looks... Uh... R... O... Fuck you. Jesus, okay. That's it. What? Oh, I need an. Okay. Whew, sorry. I forgot about the M. Um, deluxe rules. 
Nagito, Sonya, and Chiaki, the three of you were staying in deluxe rooms, right? Yep. If I recall, the deluxe rooms are... The guest rooms are divided up by quality grade. The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air insulation. The standard room may have so-so insulation, but it's still pretty decent. And the Kurami room has severe airflow and draft problems. The reason we could not hear the rumbling noise... That's right. It was because the deluxe rooms have superior sound insulation. I want a, I want a deluxe room in real life. I would love to have a soundproof. Maybe not totally sound, but you know, it's because my neighbor plays a lot of bass. You actually noticed that. Nice catch, Hajime. Are you using your ultimate reserve course student talent? Go sit on the dick. Now then, <laughs> you so guys every time must like... understand by now, right? The true identity <laughs> of Nekomaru's killer. Wait. Okay, so it's somebody who is in one of these substandard rooms. So there's me, Akane, and then one of the people who heard it. So Fuyuhiko, Gundam, Kazuichi. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. It, it's obviously not me. It's... It's not Ak- we know Akane is not smart enough to do any of this. And she heard the rumbling sound at 5.30. Uyuhiko was up in the lounge when when Nekumaru left. And Kazuishi fixed the elevator. And the- and the button. Does that mean it's Gundam? I mean, it's Gundam. I'm so upset. If... What's gonna happen to his hamsters? Oh, hold on a sec. Why does that lead to who the killer is? <laughs> Why? Well, that fact just now is a very important clue. And a decisive factor in identifying the killer. Can it be Fuyuhiko? Factor? Somehow, I feel like I understand what Nagito means. The killer among us. The killer who murdered Nekomaru. Oh! I don't know, make me do it! It's not right. I will take this full fucking two minutes. There's no way. No. Cause uh, uh. 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 But I'm so upset. Fuck this game. You're the only one. No. Gundam, there's something I want to ask you. Mm -mm, mm -mm. When the alarm rang at the Strawberry House Lounge, you rushed over there too, right? What's wrong with that? If the bell of catastrophe rings throughout the night, it is the universe's providence to stop it. Why were you able to hear it? Oh. Hear what? I mean, you were also staying in a deluxe room, right? That's right. Maybe he was just out for a little bit, you know? Nagito was staying in a deluxe room in the same house on the same floor, and he couldn't even hear it. So why were you able to hear that alarm? Huh? Now that you mention it... G Gundam? There is only one possibility. You weren't in your room at the time. That's why, even though you were staying in a deluxe room, you still went to the lounge. Am I right? Maybe. Gundam, um, you have some sort of explanation, right? 
Gundam probably couldn't return to his room because of Fuyuhiko. <laughs> Me? After you saw Nekomaru heading to the tower, you stayed at the lounge for a while. Am I correct? Until the moment that alarm started ringing, right? But if he was the one who set the alarm, he would have known. And like, why would he care? I guess to act like, but then he, he wouldn't have known that it was fully soundproof in the room. If you were in the lounge for that long, the killer who had left earlier obviously wouldn't be able to go back. Even though Mekamaru's murder was a death trap that utilized the alarm in his chest, the killer still needed to prepare the murder in advance. Like putting Nekomaru in sleep mode and tying him up with the wire. In order to do that, the killer needed to be waiting for Nekomaru at the tower. Which means when Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekomaru, the killer was already at the tower. And once they tried to go back, they couldn't because Fuyuhiko was at the lounge. In their original plan, the killer should have returned to their room before the alarm in the lounge went off. Fucking Fuyuhiko! And they were supposed to stay in their room. They weren't planning to come out and go to the lounge. Which means they wouldn't have heard the alarm or the rumbling sound, thus proving they were in the room. Just like us. The best case scenario would have been if those two in the lounge had gone to check the deluxe rooms. After all, if they personally saw the killer sleeping in their room, it gives the killer a stronger alibi. Mm hmm Unfortunately, they failed to secure that alibi. Because... I was in the lounge. The snuck past. No. So Say the killer saying. couldn't go back to yeah. the room, and ended up hearing the lounge's alarm. Oh, what a cute little sprite. Hey, what are you doing? This raucous, it's louder than the supreme ruler of the netherworld be bellowing for a sacrifice. Don't go making all that noise so suddenly. But why'd you come out? You should have hid till the excitement died down. If Gundam tried to hide, and if those two went to his room to check on him, he would have been found out. That would have been the worst possible outcome. That's why he couldn't just stay hidden. He could have taken the chance, though. If those two had just checked the deluxe rooms as planned. That would have been ideal, but how ironic. The moment Fuyuhiko set foot in the lounge, your plan was doomed. Oh. G Gundam? Please, can you at least say something? Why? You're such a sweetie, though. Answer me this. Including myself in my four dark devas of destruction. How many ears do we possess? <laughs> Hey, I'm serious. Huh? It looks so sure of himself. The answer is 10. That's right. I possess 10 ears. That means I have five times the hearing of a normal human. The soundproof system here may as well not exist. Hmm. Is that your argument? Uh-oh. You bastard. Do you understand the situation you're in right now? D do not panic. The truth shall now commence. It's Gundam, isn't it? I'm so upset. At the time, I left my room to go to the bathroom. By coincidence, I heard the alarm. That's fair. You can't disprove that. That's right. That's all it was. The world is always so simple. God, I'm not going to be able to hear his voice anymore. Are you saying it was just a coincidence? Isn't that timing a little too perfect? And yet, I'm being suspected by all of you. It seems it was actually horrible timing on my part. I see. You're still holding out. Well, you don't have to admit it. We're going to decide who the killer is with the majority vote anyway. Really? So, why don't we just go ahead and start voting? Wait, really? It's obvious that Gundam is the killer. Wait, really? Uh, hold on a sec. You know, Hajime, this class trial, this killing, 
It's merely the opening act, you know. Hey! What do you mean the class trial is just the opening act? Perhaps I should say... It's just a farce. Just a boring farce. So boring, so stressful. I'm so painfully bored that I might develop stomach ulcers. What? Seriously. Let's just hurry up and finish this before I collapse from poor health. Nagito, something definitely happened to you, didn't it? Mm hmm? At some point during the investigation, your behavior became even weirder. Yeah. What? What actually happened? Did you discover something? <laughs> well, let's just leave that fun for later. And finish this opening act already. Did you share that thing about Byakuya? I don't remember. Ah, you said opening act again! Uh, please hold on! We have yet to hear Gundam's rebuttal! But he's completely shut up. Perhaps he can't argue anymore. Oh... Gundam! <laughs> I was simply at a loss for words after being dumbfounded by your pathetic assumption. In fact, I shall deny the very basis. Your assumption has been wrong since the beginning. I really want it to be true. Since the beginning? That we're wrong. Based on your assumption, I hung Nekomaru from the fourth floor of the tower and made the floor descend to the first floor. Oh, we still have to talk about the chains and the buttons, huh? From there, after returning to Strawberry House, I was present when the alarm at the lounge went off, correct? Although going to and fro is busy enough as it is, how would I be able to travel between both houses anyway? I see. The contact elevator was broken. Oh. As I recall, the killer tampered with the grape house control panel, which shut down the elevator. Hmm. Plus, the stopped elevator should have been facing the grape house side. If so, the human who used the elevator would have left it at grape house. For these reasons, it's an indisputable fact that the killer destroyed the elevator at grape house. I know this is wrong, but I can't think of the reason why right now. And what's wrong with that? If the elevator was broken at grape house, he wouldn't be able to return to strawberry house. However, I was already at Strawberry House. I was present when the alarm in the lounge started ringing. Which means your assumption is clearly wrong. Are you serious? And here I thought it's already been decided. Hi, <laughs> yes, You learned your lesson, oh. pitiful humans. You cannot overcome this contradiction. <laughs> oh, the little big orange one is so cute. It's like, ha 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 ha. That's wrong. When something is obviously wrong, that's when a contradiction is born. There's no such thing as a contradiction that can't be overcome. Make your argument. I can- I- yeah, 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 yeah. Good night, button views. Uh... That elevator was... The only means of travel between the two houses. Oh, that's not true. Wait, 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 wait. As long as that elevator was broken, your assumption collapses! Plus, the elevator was... broken at Grape House. Right. If the killer cannot return to Strawberry House... Since I was at Strawberry House at that time, there's no question that the following crime is impossible. It would have been different if they had an accomplice. Or if there was a secret passageway. That one? How much longer do you plan to lecture me? Why don't we stop this already? Oh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's, um... Contradiction is when something's obviously wrong. There's no contradiction. I can't shoot through. Okay, so it's obviously a contradiction. From Gundam. But it's... What did he say? He said that it was... Um... The elevator was broken. I need to look at the truth bullets again really quickly. That elevator. Ooh, he goes account wall clerk. Uh, it doesn't. What else is there? The only means Open of travel between knock. the. Oops. As long as that elevator was only broken. Only means of travel. Your assumption collapses. That's the 
thing, right? But it's not. Plus, the elevator was because we have broken at Grape House. The secret passage. The killer cannot return to Strawberry Nagito House. Nagito found out. Since I was at Strawberry House at that time. Oh. There's no question that the following crime is impossible. Okay, okay. It would have been different if not they had not I need to to. Or if there was a secret passageway. That. I keep How much forgetting. longer do you plan to lecture me? I have to do that. Why don't we stop this already? I can't believe it's gone dumb. I can't believe it's gone dumb. I'm so upset. What's going to happen to his hamsters? The only means of travel between the two houses. No, that's wrong. No, there should have been another way to move between the two houses without the elevator. Such a method does not exist! Then why don't we ask the person who actually used that method? Oh, Nagito. You're the only one! Nagito, you should know. Huh? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You appeared so suddenly that one time because you used that method, right? N Nagito, where are you here? Because it showed up. There's a secret passage connecting the first floor of Strawberry House to the third floor of Grape House. Isn't that right? Jeez. Once again, I let the reserve course show up. But you're right. There's a door on the floor of the Octagon. Which is on the first floor of Strawberry House. After I opened the door and went down. Surprise, surprise! I ended up in the Monokuma Archive, which is on the third floor of Grape House. Meaning, the third floor and the fourth floor are actually connected. Oh, wow. Plus, once you've cleared the final dead room once, you can pass through it as many times as you want. If they use that secret passage, they could have gone between the two houses as much as they wanted. Infinity Unlimited Flame! What? What? However, what if the killer was unaware of the existence of the final dead room? There's no way they didn't know. That is merely an illusion you have fabricated from your own suspicion. <laughs> if you value your life, you should stop with your scrutiny. There's no way I can stop. What did you say? I'm sorry, Gundam. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I'm gonna do that. Just kidding. <laughs> oh no, I hate rebuttal showdown. Why are you getting button? Uh. Even if the turbid box doesn't exist. You could travel through multiple planes, provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Your decayed illusion. How do I do this? Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? Uh, th the cutting's root wait, am I doing the right thing? Yeah, it is just W-A-S-D, right? Even if the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes, provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? Oh, I can go diagonally. I didn't realize. That's why. Okay. Even if the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes, provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile so deities? Hard. I can't back oh, down! Oh no! Fuck, I'm so bad at that. Even if the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes. Provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say! Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? There we go. Okay. Oh. I already proved a secret passage exists. The secret passage was at the octagon. Yeah. 
Know the limits of your own reasoning! You say the killer went to the octagon? Don't bark, you cur! If you don't want to drown in the maelstrom of blind confusion- Oh, was- I don't even know if that was the right one. Okay. Uh. The wire used to string but, up Nekomaru's body. I know the wire was around because that proves that he was there. The hammer that looked like the weapon, and the chain on the door in the tower. Those are all the items that weren't in Funhouse. Where did the killer obtain them? The only place I can think of is the octagon. There were I don't know why it was Maelstrom of Blind Confusion, there. but... I'm pretty sure I saw stuff like wires, hammers, and chains, too. I kind of panicked. Since those items were used in the crime, there's no doubt that the killer went yeah. to the octagon. Oh no. If that's the case, they obviously know about the secret passage too, right? <laughs> it seems this is the end. No. Normally we'd end up listening to Hajime lecture us with a very long summary of the case. But there's no reason to waste any more time on this opening act. So I'm going to end this right now. Hey, what are you... First of all, by messing with oh. all the clocks in the building, Gundam tried to lure only Nekomaru. The elevator was oh. probably broken by that point. I can't click. Thanks to that, Nekomaru wasn't able to go to Grape Tower, which was supposed to be the meetup okay. point. So he tried going over to Strawberry Tower. Just like we did when we found out the elevator was broken. Well, it's obvious he'd attempt that. At that time, we didn't know the two towers were the exact same place. Also, the button in Strawberry I Hall was broken, figured that out. So he was oh. easily able to enter Strawberry Tower. Never mind. But surprise! Gundam was waiting for Nekomaru's arrival. Well, hold on. If Nekomaru didn't go to Strawberry Tower, what would the killer have done then? Their plan was a balancing act of uncertainties. But even if they failed, they probably wouldn't have minded. They can just greet everyone the next morning as if nothing happened, and come up with a different plan. And, without such a risky plan, they wouldn't have been able to lure him at all. I'm going to continue summarizing the case, okay? Hey, okay, jeez. Through this, Gundam successfully lured Nekomaru to Strawberry Tower. There's no way he could fight head on with the robotic Nekomaru. So by pressing the good night button, he rendered Nekomaru powerless without fighting it. Huh? Hold on! You. What did you just say? That. I didn't battle? Uh oh. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Don't. Mess with me! Don't mess with me! I cannot ignore those words! But, Gundam... Why are you angry all of a sudden? You fools! Do not understand! You don't understand at all! Ha! You make me laugh! After all this time, you still don't understand anything at all! I don't understand anything. What does that mean? You don't even understand that. It appears... I cannot finish just yet. But maybe I'm just a human destined for hell. Oh. However, I cannot finish just yet. Don't be so sad if you led your whole life believing that. I cannot finish. What do you intend to do? What's happening? It's obvious. I'm going to destroy your illusory assumptions. Are you saying you still have more? You still have room to argue? Oh, we gotta do the final panic trial talk thing, huh? Your words. You said I pressed Nekomaru's goodnight button. Uh-huh. However, that button was on the back of Nekomaru's neck. Sure. To press it, I'd have to get behind him. Is that difficult? It's not easy to get the drop on Coach Nekomaru. It's even more difficult if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. I mean, you just very casually just swing Santor over. Just as I thought, truly frail, succumbing so easily to this simple argument, it was just a mere illusion. <laughs> if you want to set me up as the killer, at least surpass your own human limitation. You know, technically, it's five against one because you've got your four hamsters. That's wrong, Gundam. You're the one 
Who's wrong? And I don't want him to be wrong. <laughs> Such really? a wonderful line. However, I cannot say that I'm satisfied. But... Listen well. I shall teach you two tips for making someone admit their defeat. First, you must crush them with your own overwhelming power. And as for the other, you must provide a reason that will persuade that human. You have not fulfilled either of those yet. I guess you really don't want to admit it. <laughs> Then, just as you requested, I'll provide an argument that will leave you no choice but to be persuaded. But, uh, fuck. I don't remember how to do this at all. I won't let you. For the Tanaka Empire, wither. Crush as David prophesies. I won't let you. For the Tanaka Empire, wither. Crush as David prophesized! This is so Summon hard, my eyes are dying. I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Crush as David prophesized! I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Crush as David prophesized! Am I doing terribly? I don't even know. I won't let you! For the Tanaka Empire! Wither! Crush as David prophesied! Oh! Nekubaru's back! Do you Lord Dark Davis! Behind him? This is the end! Oh, the hamsters did it! The hamsters helped to kill him, someone! You should have been able oh. to press the button on the back of his neck. As long as you have the power of the hamsters, you keep with you! The power of the hamsters, I love it. Oh? Are you oh? seriously saying he used his hamsters to press the button on the back of Nekomaru's have neck? Have you seen their fucking dexterity? Of course it'd be dexterity? impossible for a normal hamster, but it would have been possible for Gundam. Oh. In fact, we saw that with our very own eyes, right? Emissary of evil, in accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Pierce through Supernova Silver Fox Sandy. Choo -choo. Oh, so cute. I'm so upset. Uh, it pressed the button. Truly, this is the Skyline Levitation Art of the Demon Mouse. <laughs> Soon the door of destiny shall open. Now that you mention it, after Ibuki was killed in the music venue, and he like snatched the cloth. One of Gundam's hamsters retrieved the piece of wallpaper from the baton lighting, right? Yeah. He was very capable hamsters. Hey, with your friends and their exceptionally smart brains, it must have been possible to secretly get one of them behind Mekamaru and press the button on the back of his neck. How about it, Gundam? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Still laughing? Not just myself, but you actually brought up how splendid my subordinates are. <sighs> I have no recourse but to admit it. Oh! Admit it? Did you say you admit it? It appears I've obtained a one way ticket to hell. Fine! Then you must trample me underfoot and advance. Victory can only be built upon a foundation of corpses. Oh. You cannot find peace without sacrifice anywhere. That's a really cool line, but oh. Now trample this life. Trample it as though it were mere trash on the side of the road. Random. Pull the curtain strings of this worthless performance with your own two hands. So upset. What? I don't want to play the game anymore. <laughs> I thought I'd have to bring out emotional support machine on Danganronpa. Mm -hmm. 
Who's she? Oh, the guy with the cute hamsters is one. Oh, you see, but Pusheen's upset. Oh. I'm not happy. Oh. Ah! Oh. Okay, what did, who set the lounge o'clock? Turn up, come on. This is what Nekomo. Time did for you to go see Nekomaru. Uh. Then probably um with the base of the contact elevator. Oh, oops. I see so. Lounge. Why did they come out of all this one? Talk to. Who heard the rumbling noise? Um... Uh, hammer gathered at the lounge. It's a fake weapon left at the tower. Kiss the pillar, damn it. That was weird. Okay. Those are Nakamura's weaknesses. Rest it. And then... Wait, this is the, the lounges. Door to Strapay Hold up destroyed. Um Oh my god, look at his hamsters. Oh I'm so upset. The door Is that right? I can't remember anymore. Okay. At the lounge. Last stock. Okay, good. Uh, what else left? Is that correct? I'm not sure. Um, that one, and then is that it? I'm staring murder. Alarm ring, and then that happened, and then... What is this? Who heard the rumbling noise? Is it... Here's What's everything that? that happened in this there case. It is. Let's first go over the many tricks the killer prepared before they committed the crime. First. They destroyed the contact elevator. Oh. Yep, hey, Pushin. Pushin's sitting here. Watching. This separated Nagito and the others in Strawberry House from our group in Grape House. Next, they lured Nekomaru out by himself by turning back all the clocks in the funhouse by two hours. Additionally, in order to secure an alibi, the killer went to the Strawberry House lounge and set the wall clock's alarm to 5.30 a.m. After finishing their preparations, the killer went to Strawberry Tower with the necessary tools in hand. They obtained these tools from the Octagon, which you can enter once you clear the final dead room. This means the killer discovered the secret of the Funhouse faster than anybody else. That secret being Strawberry House and Grape House are actually the same building. I'm upset. On the morning of the incident, 
Nekomaru woke up and headed over to Grape Tower for a specific reason. There, Fuyuhiko, who was at the lounge by coincidence, witnessed Nekomaru. According to Fuyuhiko's testimony, that was around 5 a.m., but by that point, the killer had already messed with our perception of time. Mm -hmm. In actuality, Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekomaru at 7 a.m. That's also the same time Monokuma Tai Chi begins. Nekomaru went to Grape Tower to participate in that. However, because the contact elevator was broken, Nekomaru was unable to go to Grape Tower. So he decided to try going to Strawberry Tower. But the killer was waiting for him there. The hamsters! With the power of hamsters, they were able to press the good night button on the back of Nekomaru's neck. With the power of hamsters? Pin, could you do that? Do that swift and agile? Pin says no. That's this really scary, him though. To enter sleep mode, That's like rendering him immobile. Kind of a nightmare. From there, the killer began preparing to use the ultimate weapon. The building. First, they set the alarm in Nekomaru's chest to 7.30 a.m. so he'd wake up. Then they tied him up with a metal wire, tied the tip of the wire into a loop, and hung it on the doorknob. After leaving Strawberry Tower, the killer then destroyed the door button to Strawberry Hall. They did this to keep us from entering Strawberry Tower, and to keep us from discovering the secret of the building structure that they used to kill Nekomaru. Then, they used the secret octagon passageway to travel to Grape House. After arriving at Grape Hall, they pressed the button to open the door to the tower. When that happened, the elevator-like floor of the tower began descending, and Nekomaru's body was still inside, dangling upside down in mid-air from the wire. The killer entered Grape Tower to see if their setup was successful, and placed a hammer on the floor to look like the weapon, then wrapped a chain around the back door. The hammer part was kind of dumb. This was done to make us falsely believe we couldn't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall. So many acts. With this, the killer finished their setup and tried to go back to their room using the secret passage, so they could craft their alibi when Nekomaru died from the fall. But something you unexpected have snuck happened. By. Fuyuhiko, who saw Nekomaru earlier, was still at the lounge. I think. As a result, the killer couldn't return to their room, and with no options available, time ran out. The lounge's wall clock alarm started ringing at 5.30, well, actually, 7.30. To avoid a worst-case scenario, the killer was forced to appear in front of Fuyuhiko with the others. When the wall clock's alarm rang, that was also the same time Nekomaru was waking up. He woke up while he was still hanging upside down, so he couldn't help but sway his body powerfully. Originally, the loop of wire was only supposed to slip off the doorknob, but because there was a heavier load than expected, the doorknob ended up breaking. Nekomaru fell from the fourth floor all the way to the first floor. He crashed into the pillar, which decapitated him on impact, and died. The sound of Nekomaru's impact echoed throughout the funhouse. However, by this point, the killer's plan was about to fail, thanks to the broken doorknob and Fuyuhiko. Mm. Meaning, the killer is someone who wouldn't have heard the alarm if they were in the deluxe room. They also wouldn't have been able to return to their guest room, because Fuyuhiko was at the lounge. That someone is Gundam Tanaka. I can't think of anyone else but you. I'm so upset. Can't believe it's Gundam. Oh, there's how cute his monsters were. 
<laughs> splendid. <laughs> that was splendid. For a mere human, you did quite well. I found them in the tree time. You were such a sweetie. What? Stop. Stop it already. Stop using weird words to avoid the truth. Oh. I'll friggin' kill you myself! I cannot believe it. I just cannot believe. You. You killed. Nakumaru? I cannot believe something like that! You don't wish to forgive me, do you feel regret? Then finish it! Cast your impure vote for Gundam Tanaka! No! My beloved, deadly foes, let the voting time begin! Why do you still seem so happy? Forty-three, Jesus Christ. The B. Hmm. This result isn't all that exciting. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. I don't wanna. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Please pull the ladder! Oh, crap! I bit my tongue at the most important part! No. Oh. I'm so displeased. Ugh, it'd be a bad ha it'd be bad if I bit my tongue again, so I'll speak slowly. So upset. Judging from the results, Yahoo! you guys were correct once again. Getting four in a row without any mistakes is a splendid achievement. <laughs> That's right, the one who killed the robotic Nekomaru in the amazing funhouse. As Gundam Tanaka. Gundam Tanaka. Nice! Yay! I said all that without biting my tongue. Now then. Now that we've decided who the killer is, let's do the execution already and get this over with. Hold on. It's true the class trial is finished, but that doesn't mean the incident is over. We can't finish yet until we hear it from Gundam. Be here. Jeez. No matter, no matter what he says, it won't change a thing. Well, I have no right to stop you either, so do whatever you like. Fall, my tears. Fall, my tears! So fucking uncool. Fuck this game, piece of... Why do you want to talk to one who has lost? The loser merely leaves. It would just be unnecessary for me to say something. Listen well! Is what I would like to say, but for honor's sake, I shall correct one thing. Correct? How pitiful. You guys said I made Nekomaru powerless without fighting him. That, however, is a great mistake. Huh? Fine. Nekomaru did fight. That is no mistake. And because he fought, he lost and died. D damn it! <laughs> Lost and died? This, too, must be the will of causality. What? If he was just trying to cling to life, there are many ways he could have done so. However, he did not allow that. You. What, what do you mean? Explain. <laughs> Fine, then. Then I shall reveal it all. Let's make history. Within the final dead room, I discovered the secret of the funhouse. And I devised the killing plan utilizing that secret. By tampering with all the clocks in the tower, I succeeded in luring Nekomaru to the- in the building. I succeeded in luring Nekomaru to the tower. And this is what happened. Wow. Nekomaru and I were alone in the tower, standing face to face with one another. 
I should say I expected as much from Nekomaru. He sensed my subtle killing intent and instantly understood the situation. And we had ourselves a stare down. In that situation, if he wanted to run away, it would have been easy for him to do so. He could have run away or even called for help, but he did not turn his back to me. Instead, he chose a fight that risked life and death. That is... A fight that risked life and death? Let me tell you this. Oh. He was serious, too. He gave it his all to try to kill me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> if I had died instead, the mystery surrounding the case would have been even more complicated. You would never know why I, the victim, went to the tower by myself. I can see it! Nobody would know that the victim, me, was actually the one who planned the whole thing. Could it be? Nekomaru really did that? Sensing even my subtle killing intent, as expected of you, Nekomaru. The scourging, stinging, tense atmosphere! I've been a team manager for so long, I'd nearly forgotten this. This is great! What a comforting atmosphere! Hmm, that's a great line. I love how he says that every now and then. And what is your reason? Do you intend to resolve this situation by killing me? <laughs> I am the warlock, Gundam Tanaka. Heroes, lords of darkness, and even the gods themselves flee from me. He would make such a good D&D player. I need not cling to any trivial reason. I'm simply going to kill you because your very existence is an annoyance. Really? <laughs> You'll drench your soul with evil until the bitter end, huh? Splendid! In response That's to your fine. spirit, I shall kill you with all of my might. Fuck is wrong. I won't go easy on you. Don't even think about holding back. I'm so upset. Don't waste your breath on cowardly tactics. Give me everything you got. Nekomoro Nidai, your blood will drench the foundation of my empire. So upset. That is. Why? Why did you fight? We are all friends. Why couldn't you stop this? Even if both sides agreed, it was still wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I will not argue. I have no intention of forcing my values upon you. Let me tell you this. However, I must say this. What's the point of living if you're just waiting until you finally die? You weakling! There's nothing courageous about that. That is abandonment, a mere feeling of resignation. That's why. Wait, are you just telling us to w to just wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill each other. Huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die? Fall, my tears. Ever since we were locked inside that building, everyone had been dominated by that feeling of abandonment. However, nothing is born from resignation. That is simply a reason to give up. If you flinch, you will die! Giving up on life? That's just an insult to life itself. Let me ask. Have you fools heard of the term dog eat dog? She has, but she doesn't like it because it's only about dogs and not cats. Um, cannibalism? Fine. In zoology, Cannibalism is a commonly observed phenomenon. Many creatures at some point in their lifespan engage in cannibalism. Listen well! That is what it means to live. If you say killing for the sake of living is evil, then what would you call giving up on life itself? I shall engulf this world. But you won't anymore because you're going to die. If a world would consider that justice, then I will fight that world with every last fiber of my being. Giving up on life and choosing death is nothing but a blasphemy toward life. I renounce you! It is a violation of the natural order. It is the arrogance of humanity. You 
Are you saying all that? Just try to justify what you did? What? But it sounds like Nekomaru felt the same, too. That's why they fought, right? Damn it. <laughs> Fine. That man had the courage to die when he needed to die. That is why he challenged me to our battle. <laughs> Regardless, as I've already said, I do not intend to force my values upon you fools. I have betrayed you all. That is the absolute truth. Fall, my tears. Mm, but even so, don't you think it's a better alternative to slowly starving to death here? Oh, that belief is why you committed your crime. You... Hey, what about the final dead room? Did you do the Russian roulette too? Let's make history. Unlike Nagito, I only did it once, but... <laughs> <laughs> Compared to my battle with Dekomaru, that was mere child's play. Well, you know, after listening to you talk for a while, I'm starting to think that... Well, it's also because you unexpectedly admitted your crime without much resistance. Gundam, don't tell me you... You didn't sacrifice yourself for our sake, did you? <laughs> I can't believe you would ask such a foolish question. My name is Gundam Tanaka! Just who do you think I am? I am Gundam Tanaka, history's greatest monster. My cursed existence is feared by all mankind. There is no way I'd sacrifice myself for the sake of you fools. Fade like dust in the wind. Not in a million, not in a billion, not in ten thousand billion years. In the name of pandemonium, it is impossible. Is that it? Then, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> he totally did, didn't he? Because when he starts talking like that, that's kind of when he, he denies things to be true. Now then, let us be rid of this foolish talk. It's about time the fun started. <laughs> Monokuma, let us begin. Yes, indeed! Yay, got it! <laughs> I have prepared a special punishment for the ultimate breeder, Gundam Tanaka. Don't tell me he's gonna get, like, eaten alive by some- What about his hamsters? Please wait! This- this is just too much! I beg of you! Please, Monokuma, please help Gundam! Oh. Huh? Miss Sonia? It's- I think it's- it's really sweet. I beg of you! Please, I beg of you! How pitiful. Sonia. An act as unrefined as stopping a man from going to his death does not befit a noble such as yourself. Uh, Gundam! Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> um, it's fine to start for reals, right? Fine. Oh, he's face oh. Yes, I do not mind. However, what is it, my four dark devas of destruction? Oh, yeah, what's gonna happen to them? Are you worried about me? Oh, my feared four dark devas of destruction. That is not like you at all. I'm so upset. Oh, I'm so his only friends and now they're worried about him
However, there is no need to fear. In this world, I am only a temporary visitor. I was simply visiting for a moment, and now that my duty is complete, I must return to the darkness. That is why, until the very end, pride, conceit, courage, insolence, fearful of nothing, daunted by nothing, let us laugh uproariously! <laughs> That is Gundam Tanaka! I shall stick with my evil until the very end! <laughs> Open Sesame Pandemonium! Oh. I shall fill hell with true hell! I don't want him to go. <laughs> Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! <laughs> Hamsters at least be okay. Oh my god. Stampede, he's gonna get Mufasa. Seriously, got Mufasa. I need a moment. slightly better. <laughs> Even after Gundam is gone, the spirit of his parting words still linger deep in our chest. Don't give up on life. Did I misunderstand what he meant? Then what's the right thing to do? I don't know. No matter how much you think about it, I don't know if I'll ever be able to answer that. Damn it. Damn it. I'm so pissed off. I need to throw something. D damn it! You all spent so much time worrying about each other, and thanks to that, things ended up like this. You're all full of shit. Every last one of you. But the biggest piece of shit is me. Well, there we agree, but... The worst. Damn it, why am I so weak? Oh, it's such a downer, clearly. But still, even though we feel this way, we still gotta do our very best. You are right. This time around, we must move forward. We must continue to live and believe in our friends. If not, you are right. Gundam will most likely crawl his way out of hell, and I presume he will be very cross with us. You're right. You're right. We shouldn't just stand here. 
I mean, it's not like this is over. We still have to do it. Still have to finish this. For the sake of our friends who have died, we need to finish this once and for all. So, don't just stand there. Stand up and walk. Move forward. Live. If you don't, everyone who fought and died will have died in vain. We can't allow that. Hey! Hey! So how long are you guys gonna stand around chattering? The class trial is over, so it's okay for you to hurry back over to Jabberwock Island. <laughs> However, the killing school trip will proceed as usual, so make sure you know that. Wait! Uh, hold on! How, how much longer are you gonna keep doing this? Seriously, how long is he going to keep doing this? How long is this going to continue? Now then. <laughs> I hate you so much, Akane. Hey, hey. Oh, hold on a sec. That boot shift is too damn fast. I'm not stopping until I see what happens to his hamsters. Well, I guess, are they just left there? Like, do, do we not get to take care of them or anything? Like some part of him gets to still be in the game. It's not like that. Well, you know, it's like Gundam and Nekomaru said. <laughs> That's what it means to live, right? Huh. <laughs> She's certainly something else. <laughs> but seriously, I'm starving. Hey, hey. Then let's go back for now and eat. And then after we're full, let's sleep as much as we want, right? And then let's do our best again. Yeah, you're right. With this, the class trial has come to an end, and once again, we return to Jabberwock Island. The size of our group has definitely diminished, but despite that, even if it was just the rest of us, we did our best to stay upbeat and have fun together. Of course, our optimism was only superficial, but at that moment, we were able to forget about the dark despair looming before us. However, the only thing I was worried about was him. He wasn't there. He suddenly disappeared from our sight. <laughs> yep, I'm definitely lucky. I never expected to obtain so many valuable things from a simple game of Russian roulette. <laughs> oh. Thanks to that, thanks to that, I was able to learn the identity of our true enemy. And before everyone else, too. So he knows who the traitor is. And it's just too funny. I mean, no one could tell that I was lying. Yeah, I knew it. There's no way the file had just Hajime's information. Well... I guess they were too busy with other matters. Or maybe they've reached their limit. Regardless, I was saved. Things would get complicated if they found out. <sighs> anyway, I can't forgive this. Damn it. This should never be forgiven. There's no way I can let this run loose. I'll be the one who stops this once and for all. Even if it costs me my life. It's obvious. For the sake of hope, I cannot ignore this. Monokuma appears! Alright, Monokuma has arrived. Who summoned me? Now then. Thanks for coming. What's this? Why, it's the lonely little Nagito. Are you all alone tonight, too? What's the matter? So what's up? Your face looks scary. <sighs> I see, so you can tell. Hmm? Ah, perhaps you found out who the traitor is? <laughs> you know me well. Wow. It's what I'd like to say, but unfortunately, I haven't learned that yet. Hmm. I see. So even you don't know, huh? Looks like the final showdown is going to take a little more time. Hello. So why'd you summon me anyway? Were you finally going to confess your love? Hey. I summoned you because there's something I really need to ask you. It's about the special prize from the final dead room. Hmm? Oh yeah, what about it? Hmm. 
There, there was information about 16 people in the file I received. But isn't that weird? Say what? What's weird? You don't even know? Well, there's a traitor from the Future Foundation hidden among us, right? Including that person. The total number of students would be 16, right? Isn't that right? But this file contains documents that were created at Hope's Peak Academy, right? Of course! That's right. I just reused the stuff that the former headmaster spent a lot of time making. But... If this file even contains information about the traitor. Was that person also a former student of Hope's Peak Academy? Who knows? <laughs> I wonder. Hey. Could it be? <laughs> Is this you're doing? Did you slip false information into the file? Are you trying to keep us from learning the traitor's identity by obtaining this information? Hmm? What's wrong with that? If it's my job to heat things up, it's okay if I do something small like that, right? Well... That's not my point. Right? My point is, you already know who the traitor is. Hmm? What's wrong with that? You're getting all riled up! Well, you're, sp you're splendidly correct when you say I knew who the traitor was all along. But even though I know who it is, why do you think I ignored it on purpose? Hmm. It's just like Monomi after losing her magic stick. The traitor's existence means absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> Their existence means nothing, huh? No, no! Well, that's just how I feel. I'm sure you guys feel somewhat different. Shing. After all, that person is the evil future foundation lackey who is putting you guys through this awful stuff. <sighs> mm, that's not entirely true. I didn't really come here to fight or anything like that. <laughs> Instead, I came here to offer my cooperation, you know? Huh? Cooperation? Hey. Your purpose is to fill everyone on this island with despair, right? That's why you're intentionally letting the traitor do as they please, right? Yep. Yep, yep. I... If that's the case, I might be able to cooperate somewhat too. Right? However, in exchange, I want to know who the traitor is. I see. Interesting. Very interesting. No, no, no! Obviously, that's a big no-no. Unbelievable. I mean, I want to make everyone in your group feel despair. That includes you, too. Well... Well, I knew you would say that. Hmm. Besides, I just wouldn't be able to handle the sadness when you inevitably betray me later on. <laughs> just as I thought, you saw right through me. You're right. No matter what situation I find myself in, my core way of thinking will never change. In order to create absolute hope that shines brightly, stepladders such as myself and despair exist. <laughs> You're right. You're a true believer of hope after all. I must say, that belief reminds me of that person for some reason. Huh? Reminds you? <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, but if someone as worthless as me reminds you of some other person, they must be extremely unlucky, Makoto. Like... But you're just as unlucky, right? I mean the fact that you're even involved in something like this. Wow. Am I? I actually think I'm very lucky. Say what? Huh? You don't know? Wouldn't you say that coming across this much despair is a rather rare opportunity? I can't rely on everyone on anyone on this island. That's why I have to be the one who does it. If I can eliminate despair from this island, I won't be a stepladder anymore. I'll become true hope. <laughs> I'll become an existence that could even be called ultimate hope. <laughs> the two of you are alike. You definitely remind me of him. Hey. There's one more thing I want to ask you. Hmm? Huh? See? What are you waiting for on this island? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like I'm right again. You're definitely waiting for someone on this island. Is the person you're waiting for already on this island? Hey. Well, answer my question. He's under no obligation to do so. The, if, that's... if that's the case, if that person is already on this island, <laughs> wouldn't that be exciting? Is he talking about the ultimate hope? I don't know anymore. Five days left.
And that's it. Seven left. Achievement unlock bread for distraction. His allowed earring. Yes. Okay. And that's where we're gonna leave this episode. Wow. It's been a long time since I've cried at a video game been a long time that was so upsetting just i can't believe he got mufasa and then like his hamsters i oh. can't okay, i'm done no more all right i'm not gonna be able to come back to this for a while so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for notifications when I put out new videos. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.